Well, Thursday, June 6th, will mark an important day that saved freedom and changed the course of history. The 75th anniversary of D-Day and part of that history has a rather fun twist. So how do you entice young men to join a relatively new endeavor by getting in an airplane and parachuting into enemy territory? Tonight, a local veteran takes us back to the 1940s. Jeannie Blaylock has the story. Do you have what it takes? Talk about a change in style. Swift, sudden, strong. The airborne soldier is truly a man among men. But back in the 1940s, young men had no idea they were being recruited for one of the biggest battles in history. As the transports take off, General Brereton wishes them Godspeed. In the pitch dark, 13,000 American paratroopers dropped from the sky. These are the heroes who established first contact with the enemy. Just hours before that massive invasion onto the beaches of Normandy. That generation, uh, the paratroopers, they literally saved the world. They really did. And on our first coast, we have a veteran documenting how those paratroopers were recruited. Ken Peck is a Purple Heart recipient. I'm a retired Chief Warrant Officer 3. The ads loaded with appeals. You'll like the splendid new equipment. Cars, trucks, tanks, planes, guns. Paratroopers, a new way to fight. You fly to work. Men who want the finest, toughest training a soldier can get. Men who want to fly to work. Uh, one of the incentives that they had for guys to, to join the paratroops was is that you would get an additional $50 per month jump pay. $50 then, about 800 bucks now. They're like, oh, wow, you're going to give me an extra $50 to jump out of planes and, and go and kill Germans? And, uh, and uh, Sure, sounds great. The fighting man knows that he carries in his pack the hopes of a free world. Peck is writing a book about his research and his collection. And just to acknowledge the women's contributions, they sewed the parachutes. And also this. So this is my favorite page so far. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is Isn't so that cool? cool? Yeah. Don't look now. Here comes 444 lady stockings. Pantyhose made the parachute. Absolutely so. That's 444 pairs of pantyhose sacrificed to make one parachute. You know, for years, I've heard my mom talk about not having silk stockings during the war. They needed the silk for the parachutes. For more information about Peck's book, you can look for the story in our special D-Day section on FirstCoastNews.com. So many good stories wrapped around D-Day and such importance to the day that truly changed the course of history. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News, on your side.